bridge. Access granted. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19th, 2145. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to send in some of the heavier equipment. Engineering in the Inpro facility informed me that we can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds quite easily. But, this will require rerouting power from central processing and we just can't afford the downtime. The power requirements for the system are astronomical. We're sucking power from three veins in Inpro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. I'll sleep on this. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. Destroy him! Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Li. Dated October 16, 2145. Why is it that I keep getting the crummy jobs? Armor Corps 1st Platoon and 1st Science Team were completely wiped out this morning on their second excursion. And I am the one charged with writing up the reports and sending this information back to Earth next to him. <sighs> so here I am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours of sleep the night before. No shower. I have 20 dead bodies to fill out paperwork on. I haven't 
seen their actual corpses, but word coming down from the grapevine says that it looks like they have been hacked up pretty good. This says everyone on the base spooked. Petruger is nowhere to be found, and there are a lot of questions being asked with no answers from anyone. <laughs> Last I heard, they were suiting up the next outfit with the new BFGs. Sounds like they weren't taking any chances on this next trip with them packing that kind of firepower. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Li, dated October 20th, 2145. Just when I thought this job couldn't get much worse, it did. Delta scientists sent another group of researchers through the portal two days ago and they failed to return at their scheduled time. Radio transmissions to the research party have gone unanswered. Even our LZ tracking systems can't find them. We fear that they are dead. Losing lives is one thing, but losing our proprietary technologies is another. The team was equipped with the newest BFG weaponry. We fear those guns may have fallen into the hands of those that killed them. We don't know who or what is behind that portal. But until we find out where our guns are, I'm suggesting we suspend operations of the portal. Thank you. And Decontamination we'll... process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Please select teleport destination. Pad 2 selected. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. My patience with you is wearing thin.
everyone is dead, and soon you will join them. Warning, 
Chamber malfunction. Please select teleport destination. Pad 3 selected.
Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Primary system failure. System shut down. Backup systems online. Stop him! Maintenance personnel needed to shut down. This is the audio log of Dr. Martin Schultz, dated August 7, 2145. We need to amend the operating procedures to ensure that all target teleport markers are properly set and locked before engaging the systems. We had a tragic accident today in Chamber 1 that led to the death of Susan, one of our female chimps. She stepped onto the platform during the calibration phase. An electrical short gauged the system and literally split her in two. Her torso appeared at the destination marker while her lower extremities remained in place on the source pad. I'm not sure how we've gone this long without this problem appearing sooner, but it seems like we've been having nothing but difficulties getting these systems to work. I don't know where Betruger finds the energy. He's been busy slaving away in the labs for 16 hours a day trying to debug these latest problems. What's he trying to do? Make the rest of his working stiff look bad? Regardless, we have our work cut out for us over the next couple of days, going over all the system's logs to see exactly what went wrong with this round of tests. Dr. Martin Schultz signing off, hoping to report better news next time. Selected.
selected. Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. Ha 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 ha!